Okay, this time we're going to review some LED honeybee lights. Not exactly sure what they're called. Balanci Solar String Lights. They're honeybees, 30 LED ones that are all solar powered. We're going to have some fun trying to explain this because it's not so easy in the dark. All right, they are waterproof. I can vouch for that. They have been, oh, there they are. Go. They've been in the rain enough times to tell you that the thing is completely waterproof. So, has a few different modes on it, but I've got to show you the solar panel first so that you can see it. And then you can see what they all do. Because I got this for the solar power panel for the settings. All the solar panels on the roof. Hold on while I get the solar panel off the roof. These are waterproof. There are 30 LEDs between each one as there. It's exactly six inches. You can use these in a variety of areas. Okay. Now, this is the solar panel. So we have the solar panel, and if we actually put light to it, going to right now, you can see my light. Put light to it, bees are gone. Off. No light. Hold on. Where can I put the light so you guys can see it? Okay. There's the bees. See my light? Going to the solar. They're off. They're on. They're off. They're on. <laughs> see? It's charged fully by solar light. These actually last really long on the back of the solar charger. There is a place where it says mode and on and off there's eight modes according to the page and I'm not sure exactly which one is which because I didn't know about the modes until I actually looked on the page because I didn't know they changed so they have solid obviously they have this I would guess would be a combination which is the first one listed then we have whatever this one is Hold on, a little few more upper hand area so you can see them together. Oh, there goes the stand. This is not working out that well. There we go, we're back. Now the next one, I think. Oh, it's fine. Then we have this one, which is, my guess, fading or waves, not sure. We have this setting, which is really, really weird. This is probably fading slowly because I don't seem to see a real change except for that. There you go. Yeah, it's fading slowly. That was slow. I think you'd agree. And then we have chasing and flashing. That's my guess. <laughs> They're going a little crazy. We have the lights back. So as you can see, many random options in there. We go that way. That way. That way. If I hit the button again, I don't see a change, but this might be the combination one. That one. This one. This one. I'm trying to get to the solid one again because that's what's usually on. It usually hangs across the top of our porch, but it's hard enough to get some of them in an area for the video in the first place. But like I said, the charger, the solar charger, completely waterproof. The bees, completely waterproof. Been out in thunderstorms, lots of rain, no problems. Um, make sure you pay attention to on the back of the power thing. There is a on off switch. You can see it. So if you hit that button, obviously it's an on off switch. So if you hit it, everything turns off. Yeah, we had that happen and thought they broke one time. Our bad. And they do have rechargeable batteries in it. I don't know. At some point we might have to recharge. I mean, re replace the rechargeable batteries. But so far we haven't. Like I said, there's 30 LED bees. There are little bees I showed you at the beginning. They're plastic, they're waterproof, they're bright. I think that pretty much covers all the details. So I hope you enjoyed watching my wonderful bees. I think they're cool looking. If I had a bush, I'd put them on a bush. If I had a garden, I might put it in a garden. 
that it can go pretty much anywhere outside. They're, they're just neat looking because it's not a normal thing to have. I like unique things, if you haven't noticed yet. So that'll be all for today. I hope you guys, they're changing on me again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my bees, because they are not going back to the normal setting for me. And I might have to eat them up myself. And like I said, just one more time, we have a paddle, paddle here. Hold on. Yeah. Where is it? Why isn't it working this time? Okay, light over here. Off, on, off, on. And as you can see, they are on the ground and on my trellis, but we put them where we could. Off, off, on. Six inches in between, total of, a, as far as I can remember from reading, a 70 inch line. I never pay attention to how long they are. There's a stake to put the solar charger in the ground. We have it up on our roof. And the length of this thingy is, I don't know, while I look for how long it is. Um, if you like this video, if you want to purchase these items, there's always a link below. And if you are not subscribed and you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe below. Leave any comments you might have. And it says, just so I can say I said this, it does work continuously for eight to 10 hours once fully charged. And I would have to agree, never seen it not work all night long. And it total length is 20.5 feet, six inches for each. Yeah, that makes sense actually, because there is, I don't know. It's confusing, but needless to say, oh, I got it now. There's 74 inches between the solar panel and the first B. There we go. That's where 74 inches came into play. I thought I should tell you, but wonderful LED power goes out. You can always move from inside. Trust me. We've had power outages a lot this summer and everything solar comes in very handy. So that should be everything. Like I said, if you'd like to purchase, go to the link below and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like I said that twice already, and I hope you enjoyed my bees. Have a wonderful evening and happy 4th of July. Bye.